Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. Today's crochet tutorial is for this really quick and easy dish scrubber. This is three rounds. You make two pieces and then you do a fourth round and crochet the two pieces together. Now this dish scrubby measures four and one fourth inches in diameter across so it's the perfect size to do dishes. You can see when you add the two together, it gives you that extra little bit of scrubbing power. Now, this yarn is specifically made for scrubbies. So let me tell you a little bit about the yarn. This is the new yarn by Lion Brand called Stitch, Soak, and Scrub. It's 100% nylon. It comes in a 1.4 ounce skein, 40 grams, 92 yards, and 84 meters. It's machine washable, lay flat to dry. Again, it's 100% nylon and it's classified as a number four medium weight yarn. Now this 100% nylon yarn is very plastic feeling. It's made specifically to make your scrubbies. So I think it's the perfect yarn for a scrubby. It's just a wonderful pattern if you like to do craft shows, if you like to make those handmade gifts. Now these are perfect if you're trying to do some last minute Christmas gifts. You can make like three of these, maybe in different colors, maybe all in the same color to match the person's kitchen decor. And then go to the Dollar Tree and buy those little bottles of dish soap. Put it in a gift bag with a little tissue paper and you have the perfect gift. So let me just show you some of the colors. Here's a pink. Here's an orange. Here's a yellow and my blue one. I don't know what I did. I was watching TV and it's a little smaller, just a touch smaller, but I did something different with this one. And I'm not sure what I did, but beautiful colorways. I believe they have about 19 different colors available in this yarn. And I'll put a special link in the description box underneath this video. It'll take you right to Lion Brand's website and you can review more information about the yarn you can see all the different colorways and you can review other people's opinion of this yarn so let's go ahead and get started now for today's video I'm using the color cabaret it's a beautiful pink it's color number 195 R so for this crochet tutorial you're going to need one skein of the stitch soak and scrub in the color of your choice and you're also going to need a size H8 or five millimeter crochet hook. So grab your yarn, grab your hook, and let's get our project started. To begin our project, I already joined my yarn with a double knot. Now you can use whichever method you prefer to join your yarn. If you join your yarn with a double knot like I do, make sure you have a little bit of a length when you start because this is going to help us close that circle because as you work your stitches around, it's going to open up that center circle and you need to have this piece of yarn so we can pull on this and close up that circle. So we're going to begin and you can see this yarn is a very loose chain spun yarn and it may be a little difficult to see your stitches when you first start but once you start using this yarn you'll get the hang of how to use it and how easy it is. So let's begin. We're going to begin with a chain five. You're going to yarn over, pull through the loop on your hook and this creates your first chain. That's one, two, three, four, and five. We're going to work a total of 17 triple crochet into this fifth chain from hook. You're going to yarn over twice, wrap the yarn around your hook twice. You're going to skip the first four chains, so it doesn't matter if you can see them or not. You're just going to come down to the very last chain. So what I do is put my fingertip right at the base of that last chain, and then I know to just insert my hook right at the top of my finger. And then work your triple crochet. Yarn over, pull back through that chain. You're going to have four loops, very hard to see them on my hook. 
yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So that is one of 17. So now what I'm going to do is this strand of yarn, I just want to bring it up and I'm going to lay it right around my work and I want to keep it right around this chain. So just bring it up. You're going to yarn over twice, insert into that chain at the base where you worked your last stitch, and then make sure that that piece of yarn that you started with is over top of your hook. And then work your triple crochet. Yarn over, pull back through that chain. You have four loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your second triple of 17. So then what I do is I put my finger back at the base of that chain where we're working all of our stitches. I make sure that that piece of yarn is right up against my work. And now we're going to make our third triple. Yarn over twice, insert into that same chain where you worked your last two stitches. Make sure that that leftover piece of yarn is on top of your hook and then yarn over, pull through that chain you have four loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made your third triple of 17. So let's do it one more time together. You're going to yarn over the hook twice, insert into that same chain and then make sure that strand of yarn is over top of your hook and this is our pull string this is what we're going to pull if the center circle gets too tight to tighten up that center circle and then work your triple crochet yarn over pull through you have four loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops so now you have a total of four of the 17 triple made. Let's do it one more time together. Yarn over twice, insert back into that same chain, making sure that your pull string is over top your hook, and then work your triple crochet. So that is five of 17. So remember your beginning skip four chain counts as a triple and then you should have 17 more triple crochet. So we made one and just pull those stitches apart so you can count them. One, two, three, four, five. So go ahead and continue and work 12 more triple crochet all into that same chain making sure that the pull strand is over top your hook after you insert it into that chain. Again, work 12 more triple crochet and I'll meet you at the end of round one. I'm over at the end of round one. You should have your beginning chain four that we skipped and then a total of 17 triple crochet and very easy to count. Just pull on your work and you can count those stitches very easily. So counting the skip chain four, you're going to have a total of 18 triple crochet around. So now what you're going to do is look at your center hole and if your center hole got big, then we're just going to pull on what I call the pull strand. I'm just going to pull on this and then it's going to close up that hole. Because you worked your stitches over top of this strand of yarn, you can just pull that and it closes it up. So what I like to do is take my pull strand and then I come up to the top of this beginning chain four. So this yarn is really hard to see the details of the stitches. So what you want to do is just find your first stitch. Here's your first stitch. Right here you can see the top of it. And then here's the top chain. So then just insert your hook into that top chain. And then I pull this pull strand up and I take it across the top of my hook. 
and then I slip stitch underneath both of those. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep this yarn right up against my work and I'm going to work right over it for a few stitches and this helps keep our center circle secure by holding this in place so it doesn't come loose. So now we're ready to begin round two. Round two we're going to be working in double crochets. We're going to begin and we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. This beginning chain three counts as the first stitch. So now what you want to do is just try to take your fingers and you want to yarn over and go back into that same chain where you joined your round. Insert into that same space, yarn over, pull through, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops only, yarn over and pull through two loops. So now we're going to be working two double crochet in each stitch around. So the best way when you're working with a yarn like this is just to use your fingers, find your next stitch, and then use your finger and follow it right up to the top of that stitch. You're going to yarn over, make sure this pull strand is over top your hook, yarn over, pull through that stitch, you have three loops, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two loops. Now we need to make one more double crochet back into that same stitch. Yarn over, insert back into that same stitch, yarn over and pull through. You have three loops, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. So when you're looking at your work, you can see we have our beginning chain three and a double crochet into this joining stitch and then we work two double crochet into this next stitch. So when you're not sure, just go to the round below, here's the stitch, and then you're going to see you have two stitches above it. So now this should be secure, so I'm just gonna let that hang in the back and get that out of my way. And now we're going to work two double crochet in each stitch around. You're going to yarn over the hook, Find your next stitch, it's right here, follow it to the top and insert under the top two loops. Yarn over, pull back through, you have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. That's how you do a double crochet. Double crochet back into that same stitch. And again, when you look at your work, you can just pull those stitches apart very easily and see you have two stitches in the top of that stitch. So let's do it again. Yarn over, insert into the next stitch, find your stitch, follow it to the top, insert under the top two loops, and work two double crochet. One. and two. So let's do it one more time together. You're going to yarn over, you're going to find your next stitch which is right here, follow it to the top, insert into the top of that stitch, work two double crochets. One, and two. So go ahead and continue and work two double crochet in the top of each stitch around and I'll meet you at the end of round two. I'm over at the end of round two. This is what your scrubby should look like. You should have your beginning chain three which counts as the first double crochet and then you should have a total of 35 more double crochet around for a total of 36 double crochet stitches as our beginning chain three counts as the first stitch. So now we're going to join our round by coming up to the top of that beginning chain three. And again, it's really hard to see. So what you wanna do is go over and find your first stitch and then just go into the chain beside that first stitch. Insert your hook into that chain and then yarn over, pull through that chain, and pull through the loop on your hook. So round two is finished, and now we're ready to begin round three. Now we're ready to begin round three. 
for round three, we're going to chain three. One, two, and three. This beginning chain three counts as our first double crochet. Now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the next stitch. Now a front post double crochet is just where you work a double crochet, but you're inserting your hook from the front of your work all the way to the back, and then you take your hook from the back and bring it back to the front around the post of that stitch. And it's called the front post because you're going in through the front to begin the stitch. So let's begin. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook from front to back, back to front around the post of the next stitch, and then work a double crochet. Yarn over the hook, bring your hook back underneath the post of that stitch. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, and pull through two loops. You just made your front post double crochet. Now we're going to begin our repeat. We're going to work a double crochet into the top of the next stitch. So just use your hands, stretch your work. Here's your next stitch and just follow your stitch right up to the top. Yarn over, insert into the top of that stitch. Yarn over and pull through. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You just made a regular double crochet. Now we're going to make our front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're going to yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front, underneath the post of that next stitch, and then work a regular double crochet. Yarn over, bring underneath and around the post of that stitch. You have three loops. Yarn over, pull through two loops only. Yarn over and pull through two loops. Let's do it again. Just take your fingers, stretch your work, find that next stitch. Very easy to do when you stretch it. You're going to work a double crochet into the top of that next stitch. And now we're going to work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. So yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of that next stitch and then work your double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Let's do it again. Double crochet into the top of the next stitch. And then front post around the post of the next stitch. So yarn over, insert from front to back, back to front around the post of the stitch, and then work your double crochet. And that is the end of the repeat. Double crochet into the next stitch. And then front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. And that is the end of the repeat. So when you look at your work, I know it's hard to see, but you can see it just creates a nice little ridging on the edge of your work. And this just helps with that scrubbing of your dishes. Just give it a little more texture. So go ahead and continue and work one double crochet into the next stitch and a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Repeat that around and I'll meet you at the end of round three. I'm over at the end of round three. This is what your work should look like. You have your beginning chain three, a front post double crochet, and then you worked a double crochet into the next stitch, front post double crochet into the next stitch. You repeated that around. You should have the same stitch count of 36 stitches. You end with a front post double crochet into that last stitch. So now we're going to go ahead and join our yarn. You're going to go over to the top of your beginning chain three. Again, find that first stitch, which is the front post, and then just insert right on the side in the top of that beginning chain three. Insert your hook and then slip stitch, yarn over, pull through that chain of that beginning chain, and then pull through the loop on your hook. So round three is finished. So now I'm just going to fasten off my work. 
Now when I fasten off, I chain two. One, two, I lift my hook up, pull the yarn out, grab the yarn, and then just pull down, and it creates a secure knot. And then this yarn, I don't even have to worry about it. It's just going to be on the back side of my scrubby when I join them together. So when you lay your scrubby down, it's going to start bowing. You're going to have that ridge effect. And what happens is when we make our second piece and join them together, it makes it pop up to give you that center puffy part of your scrubby. So this is a single layer, but what we're going to do is we're making two of these pieces and then we're going to join them together and crochet them with a finishing round. So what you want to do next is you're going to click back on the video and you just want to repeat what we just done here. You're going to make a second piece, but you're not going to fasten off. So what you want to do is go back to the beginning of the video you're going to chain five and then you're just going to follow the video and make the same exact piece only do not fasten off when you get to the end of round three join your round but do not fasten off so go ahead and click back on the video repeat this portion of the video where you work a chain five and then work round one two and three do not fasten off at the end of round three, and I'll meet you when I get my second circle made. So I just made my second piece, and you do not want to fasten off. I just joined my round with the slip stitch. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do our assembly round where we're going to join the first piece that we made to this piece here. So we're going to begin, and you want to chain one. Then you want to grab the first piece you made and you want to make sure that the right side, so this is the right side where you're going to see your textured stitches, this is the wrong side. So what we're doing is we're putting the wrong sides together. So the piece you have in your hand is right side facing, you're going to see your textured stitches and this is the wrong side. So you're going to take your second piece and you want your textured stitches to be on the outside. So turn it over so the wrong side is facing you. Just pull this strand of yarn down. And then I turn it. I don't like to start in that first stitch. So I'm going to turn it and then you just want again to put the wrong sides together. You're going to have your textured stitches on the outside. Then you're going to insert your hook into that first stitch and then match it up to any stitch on the piece below. So I'm just going to go into this stitch right here under the top two loops and we're going to work a single crochet. Yarn over, pull through both thicknesses. You have two loops, yarn over and pull through two loops. Then you're going to find your next stitch. So we just went into this first stitch. So the next stitch is your front post double crochet stitch. So again, it's really hard to see this in the video, but find your front post double crochet and just follow it up to the top, insert into the top of that stitch, and then you want to just match it to the stitch below on that ring, just insert into the top of that stitch, and then work a single crochet. And we're just going to work one single crochet in each stitch around by going through both thicknesses, matching up those stitches, and just work around till we get back to the beginning. Insert into the next stitch, and it's the double crochet stitch. Insert under the top two loops, and then just match it up to the stitch below. Work your single crochet. So the next stitch is the front post double crochet. So again, very hard to see with this yarn. Find your front post double crochet, follow it to the top, insert under the top two loops, and then if you have to, just pull them apart and look for the next stitch on the bottom, insert under the top two loops, and then work your single crochet. Let's do it one more time. Insert into the top of the next stitch, and then just look on the back piece. You can pull this apart, it's not going to hurt. Find your next stitch, insert under the top two loops, 
and then work at single crochet. So go ahead and continue and work one single crochet in each stitch around, making sure you're going through both thicknesses and I'll meet you at the end of the round. So I'm over at the end of round four or our assembly round. I just worked a single crochet in each stitch around and I just finished by working a single crochet into the last stitch. So now I'm going to go up and we're just going right into the top of that first single crochet, insert under the top two loops, slip stitch through that stitch and through the loop on your hook. So now all we have to do is fasten off and when I fasten off, I chain two, pull my hook up, yarn out, grab, pinch, pull down, and it creates a secure knot. So what I do is I usually just stick my hook right down through the center of my scrubby, and I bring it right back up to the top, and then I just catch that yarn that I fastened off with, pull it back through my scrubby, and just pull a little bit, get that knot down in there, and then I just fasten this off. So let me just go ahead and clip this off, and our scrubby is finished. Now remember, Lion Brand has about 19 colors in the stitch soak and scrub yarn. I hope you enjoyed today's crochet tutorial. If you did, please make sure you like and subscribe because you don't want to miss any of the crochet fun here on Creative Grandma's channel. So until next time, happy scrubbing! I mean, happy crocheting! <laughs>